Okay, so now it's all unboxed. Let's, uh, let's pop a battery in. And uh, load it up. There we go, that's all done. Put the stylus back in there. Let's power it on. Okay. Very nice lines on the edge and the bevel on this Q6. And the back's good quality. It's just the same plastic as a Samsung. 13 megapixel. Okay, and there she is, she's loaded up. Okay, I just mentioned that the windows are a little bit bright near me. But it leads to a very clear view of the, the casing, which uh, is worth it. The screen will suffer a little bit from the brightness there, but uh, as you can see, it's still still pretty bright. I'm going to check if it's on full brightness. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, menu. Just navigating around. I've not gone in the menu before, apart from just had the Wi-Fi a minute ago. Okay. Okay. Let's see what the browsing experience was like. God, it's pretty quick. Let's load it in. Automatic updates there. We won't do those now. Don't need that. Okay. Got a BBC website, a standard news website. And that's really quick. Ah, oh, it's instant. There we go. Just scroll through. We're on Chinese internet here, so it's not the fastest in the world for accessing sites on the other side of the world. But you can see it's, it's, it's pretty much perfect. We can try CNN as well. Let's go stateside. There we go. That's a really quick browsing experience. And obviously, you can you can change the 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 view and go to like a desktop style view instead of a mobile view. These Both these sites defaulted to a, uh, a desktop style, sorry, a mobile style view for the web page, but we can um, we can go to uh, like Deals Prime. Deals Prime, oh, didn't have a chance to type it in there. Deals Prime. Now Deals Prime supplied me this sample for a review. Let's load in. And their site's stateside, so uh Okay, we can go to mobile store. Okay, and it gives a bit of a more compact view for the mobile store, more suitable to a mobile device. So you've got your categories there. It's easier to navigate. It's super fast. Okay. So um, it's a browsing experience. Anyway, it's very quick. Now let's check out uh, what applications are pre-installed on the uh, on the device. 
Okay, we've got phone function, because remember this is actually a phablet, it's a phone tablet, so you've got full phone functionality. So you're going to have the phones, contact lists, messaging, browser, calendar, gallery, music. We've got N2 to benchmark pre-installed, we're going to do the benchmark in a moment, we won't do that yet. Accidentally touch that. Music plays all types of audio files you can require. You've got backup utility, email client settings, calculator, FM radio, sound recorder, file manager, Google Maps, this has got GPS and AGPS, it's got proper satellite GPS navigation, Play Store's pre-installed, Gmail, and there's the navigation icon for Google navigation, Flash Player's pre-installed, Movie Studio Talk, wireless import, utility for Bluetooth, it's got Bluetooth, documents to go, Cool Doodle, don't know what that one is. Cell broadcast camera, it's got camera and video functions for the front and back cam. You can select between the two in there. S4 Water, we know what that is. It's the screensaver in the background there and the effect on the screen, just like the Samsung S4. I mean, this is really a Samsung S4 Beta, to be honest, because it's uh, it looks the same and it costs next to nothing in comparison to the S4. And the quality is lovely, and it's from a, it's from a good. Uh, South Korean competitor to Samsung, which is Hyundai. And anyway, there's a, there's a second page of uh, apps. You've got video players, mobile player. This can play uh, MKVs, XVIDs, MPEG-4s. You've got like a, a puzzly game. It's in Chinese, that one, though. And then there's another one. Everything else, though, is all in English. It's just a couple of apps there. There's only two. Oh, we don't want to go back to the browser. Now, uh, that browser will be running in the background when we do this Antutu bench, benchmark, but uh, I don't think it's going to affect much. 13,000, because this is a quad-core 6589T turbo uh, processor. Let me see, Hyundai Q6. So Q6 Plus is the MT6589T. Now it's got the PowerVR SGX544 MP GPU. 12.6 megapixel, 720 1280 it's saying there for this one. 320 DPI, 8 megapixel front cam, 13 megapixel rear cams, 12.6 configured as. Battery levels 57%, 58%. We've got GSM, Wi-Fi, it's on Wi-Fi right now. Proximity sensor for when you put the phone to your face, it knows you've got it to your to your ear. Light sensor for the automatic screen brightness. We've got gyro, oh, sorry, distance sensor as well. Okay, so let's, uh, let's run the test and we can go through some of the specs. Okay, let's get that focused in there. It's a bad angle. There we go. Eight percent. It's also got Bluetooth Smart Ready, which is for your Bluetooth connectivity. Some extra functions there. Now the quad core CPU boards rated at one point two gigahertz per core. And it's actually running at one point two gigahertz as well, which is, which it really is a good speed for a device with this screen size and this type of device. It's, it's, a, it's a very good price, this unit. Now, um, Dills Prime have got the best deal on this unit right now, actually. On the Q6 Plus, uh, no one else is coming close to them. And also, actually, uh, DillsPrime.com also offer price match, so you can still get a price match anyway and get the good service and fast delivery. You don't need to worry about going to any other places that might say they're a dollar cheaper, but uh, for that dollar, it's, it's, it's well worth going to Deals Prime because you can just get a price match anyway now. So uh, there's no reason to shop anywhere else and have any trouble. Okay, 47% testing multitask performance. The Wi Fi speed goes up to N speed. So you'll get good, faster uh, Wi-Fi performance. Now I'm I'm a few rooms away from the, wi the from the Wi-Fi router, 
in this house here, my house here. So, uh, I'll, as you saw, the browsing experience was still super fast. And we were in, in different closed rooms from that router as well. So, a router, if you're American accented, you might want to say router. English, we would say router. But the Wi Fi speed's still very good, even a good distance away from the from the Wi-Fi in the other part of the house, so the Wi-Fi is very solid. Okay, I've got 3D test. It's pretty much totally smooth. It's running at the 720p res. Hyundai Q6 Plus. Now the Q6 Plus has got uh, Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. So you've got the pretty much the latest version of Android on there. I mean the edging is just so nice and the buttons very responsive. You've got a back button here, home button and then a menu button as well down the bottom here. Okay 93% okay. there we go it's getting a good quad score speed You've got to remember a lot of these devices, they're in the pay of Antutu. They have financial arrangements, so anyone that isn't on that list can get a, the, the benchmark actually tuned to work with it. I mean, I think actually Samsung were recently uh, busted to a degree for, for rigging uh, test bench results and having a test bench or their equipment actually uh, adjusted to give better results on benchmarks whereas this is just a, a raw pure test on a Antutu benchmark it's the new version of Antutu it's uh we just run it installed it and run it straight there from the play store so there's no no tomfoolery going on here but it's uh I mean, for the price and what you're getting it, the, another thing about this device is the firmware is very nice i mean it's just so super smooth it's a really a perfect, well-rounded product for a really good price. I really, uh, I really am a, a fan of the Hyundai China tablets because uh, the build quality is good, the firmware is good, and, and the price is always good. So you can't really fault them. In fact, the only thing I can fault them sometimes they're hard to get hold of because they're so popular. So it's always worth getting an order in as soon as possible on the on this Q6 Plus. So you can secure yourself a unit as soon as possible. Okay, uh, thanks for watching the review. Now remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You've got APAD Admin YouTube channel and you've also got APAD TV uh, presentation videos YouTube channel. Subscribe to both of those and check out the other videos in the channel. Also visit uh, APAD.TV and subscribe to the technical support forum. You've got custom ROMs, technical support and uh, Lots of other interesting reviews, pictures, and other users of devices you have. So uh, it's well worth coming to visit. And also uh, to, to purchase this uh, Hyundai Q6 Plus, visit dealsprime.com. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.